All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to evaluate a very interesting integral using Feynman's technique. Namely, the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus x squared over 1 plus x squared dx. Who will reign supreme? The normal distribution or the arctangent part? Well, watch this video to find out. And by the way, I would like to thank Michael Riley for suggesting this video to me. Fun fact, he recommended this to me in 2018, so I just want to say patience is a virtue. Thank you again. Now, what's the idea behind Feynman's method? Well, instead of calculating this simple integral, let's calculate an even harder integral by introducing an extra parameter, which we call a. So given a parameter a, let f of a be the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus a squared x squared over 1 plus x squared dx. Because there's this beautiful saying in French that says, Pourquoi faire simple si on peut faire compliqué? Why do something easily if you can do it more complicated? Um, that said, what is nice about this is, first of all, we can recover this integral by just saying f of 1. Moreover, it turns out that f solves a very simple differential equation. So step 1, if you wish, let's calculate f prime of a. Now, some people are like, whatever, I don't care, let's just put the derivative inside. I also like to live dangerously. But if you're a pure mathematician like me, you could justify putting the derivative inside the integral by using the dominated convergence theorem. And there's some nice videos on this that I have made. But as I said, YOLO, whatever, <laughs> let's differentiate this with respect to a. So f prime of a, what this becomes, is just the integral from minus infinity to infinity of, again, e of minus a squared x squared over 1 plus x squared. And then use the Chen Lu, you get minus 2ax, x squared, sorry, uh, dx. Now, what's the idea? Well, ideally, we would like to cancel out this x squared with this 1 plus x squared. So let's just use the trick of adding and subtracting 1 to this. So what we get, we get the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus a squared x squared over 1 plus x squared. And then minus 2a, let's see, so x squared plus 1 minus 1 dx. And then, as I said, what is nice is that this x squared plus 1 cancels out with this 1 plus x squared. And then you get the following. Let's see. So again, you get f prime of a equals. So minus 2a integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus a squared x squared dx. And then plus 2a, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, plus 2a, integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus a squared x squared over 1 plus x squared dx. Now, what is nice? Well, on the one hand, if you use the u substitution u equals ax, then it turns out this just becomes a Gaussian integral because du is a dx and so minus 2a dx becomes minus 2 integral from minus infinity to infinity e of minus u squared du. And by the way, a is positive because at the end we would like let a be 1. And here's the absolutely gorgeous thing because this thing, what is it? Well, it's just f of a. So it's almost like a fractal going on. We have the integral f of a inside of the f prime of a. And so in the end, this becomes 2a f of a. Okay. Now, one more step. Well, as I mentioned, this is the Gaussian integral. So this thing becomes square root of pi. 
And therefore, in the end, what we get is f prime of a, it's minus 2 square root of pi plus 2a f of a. So in other words, remember what we did. We had this complicated integral. We differentiated it to make it more complicated, but it turns out the integral itself solves a very easy differential equation. This is the you know, first order constant coefficient, so a differential equations are dream, if you'd like. And so now, manos a la obra, let's you know, uh, um, solve this differential equation. All right, so now let's solve this. Well, let's put all the f's on the left hand side. So f prime of a minus 2a f of a, it's minus 2 square root of pi. And then what you can use is this thing called integrating factor. But notice, if you don't like this, uh, you can just you know, think product rule. So let's take this equation and multiply both sides, I believe, by e of minus a squared. So we get e of minus a squared f prime of a minus 2a e of minus a squared f of a equals minus 2 square root of pi e of minus a squared. Then, as I mentioned, notice there is a product rule thing going on because you have the derivative of this times this function plus the derivative of this function times f of a. So in fact, you can just write this as e of minus a squared f of a prime equals minus 2 square root of pi e of minus a squared. Now, um, we will actually use a for something else. So just notice, uh, since it's true for every one positive a, it's also true for every positive x. So let's just uh, replace this a by x. And again, you'll see why I'm doing this. Because now, what can we do? So we have the derivative of this equals that. So let's just integrate. Now, just integrate from 0 to a. Mm. I believe it's 0 to a, yeah. So from 0 to a of this equals integral from 0 to a of that. And therefore, what do we have? We have uh, e of minus a squared f of a minus e of minus 0 squared, which is 1, so minus f of 0, equals minus 2 square root of pi, integral from 0 to a, e of minus x squared dx. See, that's why we change a to x, because uh, we want to have a at the end, so x is this dummy variable. Now, the question is, what is, um, let's on, what is f of 0? Well. Okay, and the idea is now just let's clean this up a little bit. So what is f of 0? If you look at the definition of f, if you plug in a equals 0, this just becomes the integral from minus infinity to infinity of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. But then that just becomes arctangent of x from minus infinity to infinity, and this just becomes pi over 2 minus minus pi over 2. So it's, it's as delicious as pi. So this thing just becomes pi. So let's just um, substitute that. 
Now this, if you think about this, it is like you know a Gaussian distribution or like the error function, but uh, because it has more standard definition, let's transform it into that one. So I believe the standard definition has to do with, uh, I believe, um, 2 over square root of pi. So let's just do this times pi over 2, square root of pi over 2 of this integral from 0 to a of e of minus x squared dx. Now, this thing, 2 over square root of pi times that integral, that is defined to be the error function. So erf of a is that, and then we get minus pi erf of a, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And therefore, this whole thing here becomes minus pi erf of a, and in the end what we get, e of minus a squared f of a minus pi equals minus pi erf of a. And which is nice, because now we can just solve for f of a. And therefore, what we have, we get e of minus a squared f of a equals pi minus pi erf of a. Es geht mir an die Nerven, or es geht mir an die Erfen. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, error function, and the nice thing is we can put pi times 1 minus erf of a. And if you like more names, this actually has a name as well, it's called erfch of a, so complementary error function. Earth C of A, okay. <laughs> but again, let's not go that far. We already have a lot of names. And so therefore, what's nice is we can solve for F of A. So F of A, all this is, it's pi E of A squared of 1 minus Earth of A. And therefore, what's nice is we're basically done. We solve for f of a, and now we can solve our original integral. And then we're basically done, because what do we have? Well, remember, we found f of a, which was the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus a squared x squared over 1 plus x squared dx. We just found this to be e of a squared times pi times 1 minus earth of a. And therefore, our original integral, which was the integral from minus infinity to infinity of e of minus x squared over 1 plus x squared dx, all this is, is just f of 1, but now plugging in a equals 1, we basically get pi times e times 1 minus earth of 1, or in other words, pi e times earth of 1. And I mean, just saying, you know, people always say that Euler's formula is the most beautiful one because it has pi and e inside. Well, this also has pi and e and earth of one. I mean, <laughs> three beautiful things in some sense. But all right, I hope you like this. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.